Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video idea was credited by Lex. So, I got the idea from him, but I'm not going to use his ideas. I'm going to use my own ideas. But I'm going to go into way more depth of what I would like to see in the updates. So. Damn. <laughs> okay, so. What I would like to see in the updates. So, first off, we're going to start with the update that's going to come right after the Mandy update. That will be the update that was basically a year after the one where Jan and Bonnie came out. I feel like this update's going to be a little bit more of a not-as-hype update. I think the new, the new theme is going to be, like, the food court, like Lex mentioned. I think the new brawler is... I think it's possibly going to be a brawler that has really, like, an assassin brawler. And I think this brawler will throw, like, in front of him. Like, I think his super might be, like, a puddle of, like, a puddle of, like, soda or something that's liquid, and that might be a super. And when people walk into it, they get stunned. I think that would be pretty cool. And I think he'll be more of, like, a Nita-ranged brawler, but do more damage than Nita, in my opinion. Um, and I think he'll kind of be an assassin because he'll be really fast. And then I didn't mention this with his second super. He can instantly teleport to where he, he let down his um, soda or wherever he releases. Um, he'll be instantly teleported to there, so... He can, while people are stunned, he can instantly teleport there and kill them. So I think he, that could be the next update. It might be a male or a female. I think it'll definitely be a human. Um, in my opinion, this is what I'd like to see. Um, but I'm thinking he would be a male brawler. Because we just got Mandy for the last chromatic brawler. So I would think that the next chromatic brawler would be male. Or not even a human at all, but I think it'll be a male. And I think that'll be the only brawler of the update. I don't think we'll get two brawlers next update because I think Supercell is going to not as much add that many brawlers this year. I think we'll see another experimental game mode where Supercell experiments on a new game mode because we haven't seen that since Summer where Hunters came out. But before... Before summer, we were getting a new game mode or two game modes every update, you know? So we were getting, for Otis update, we got Hunters. For Janet's update, we got Bot Drop. For Eve's update, we got um, Wipeout and Payload. Um, and then for Season 10, which was Fang, we got Duels. And before that, it's just been, like, every update we've gotten a new game mode. So I feel like we'll get a new game mode, and I feel like it will be a 5v5 game mode. This is something that the community has requested for a long time, and I think Supercell will add it. I also think with this update, we will be getting Masteries. And I don't think they'll put Masteries on every Brawler at first. I think it'll kind of work out the way they release Braze, where it comes first to the rare brawlers then it goes to super rare brawlers then it goes to epic mythic each update so on until they're done with masteries or i think they'll do a two rarities per update so this update might just be rare and then super rare brawlers get the masteries including shelly so that's how i think that'll work and then we won't get a new brawl talk until june with this June update, I think it's going to be a big update. Last year with the update, we didn't get anything big. We got Otis and a game mode. So it wasn't a crazy update. That was the only thing they added. That entire update, it was not a good update. But I think with this update, we'll get another member of the Velocirapids trio. And I think it'll actually be a thrower that throws beach balls at people. I think we'll have a really quick attack. Like, you won't really expect it. And then I think the super will just be a big beach ball. Like, it's huge. Like, the radius is huge. Huge, huge. And I think it won't do an insane amount of damage, but it'll knock people back. 
and then you're able to throw. It'll also destroy walls. So this brawler will be, I think, most similar to Grom, except for the fact that his main attack might do a little bit more damage, but they won't spread out like Grom. So his shots will be more like Dynamite, and his super will be like Grom's, but they won't spread. It'll just be like the big ball in the middle. So I think that's the mechanics for the new brawler of that season. I don't think it'll be crazy. And then, I think we'll get the last member of the Lost Rapids Trio, too. Which, I think this one will be, like, somebody who works at the um, first aid kit place at the Lost Rapids Water Park. I think he'll be, a, like, a surfer dude who has, like, a surfboard. And I think he'll throw out med- medicine kits at people he can throw them at his teammates or he can throw them at himself i mean not himself throw them at enemies if he throws them at enemies they do like a flat rate of like a thousand two hundred damage per shot and if he hits his teammates it opens up on them and heals them 200 health times three seconds so i think he'll be a support brother and then with his super with his super, he'll be able to go on a surfboard, and he'll kind of go, like, at the speed of Carl, but once he goes on to somebody, it kind of, like, goes up in waves, and they get, like, underwater. They drown, and basically, while they're underwater, they're underwater for three seconds. They can't shoot. They can't do nothing because they're underwater, and they do 500 damage per second, so it's about 1,500 damage while they're underwater, but the good thing is they can't move. And you go really fast, like Max's speed. You go really fast. So that's the coolest feature um, of him. He's a support brawler, but his super has nothing to do with support. The reason he's a support is because he can open up his medic kit to his teammates. So I think he'll have range similar to Gus, maybe a little shorter. Like, yeah, I think that that's like the way he'll be. Um, yeah. And then, this next update, and actually, um, I think we'll also get a new PvE mode in this update. One of the new weekend events, I think. And I think they might rework the others. And I think that would be the bulk of the update. I think that's all we'd get that update. Then, moving along to the update, where... A year ago, it would have been the Gus Sam update. I think in this update, we're going to get one brawler. And I think this brawler is actually going to complete the Castle Courtyard trio. I think this brawler might be a queen or a king or something like that. And I think this brawler will be a tank. But I think it'll be one of those tanks with really short range, like more like Edgar. But it's a tank. So, like, maybe at Primo's range. I feel like this brawler will be able to have some kind of way of getting to people. I don't know what it is yet because I haven't had a huge concept for this brawler. So, that's my concept for that brawler. I think... I don't know. And I think the bulk of this update might be a new game mode. But, like, maybe, like, two of them. So, I think there might be a a 3v3. And then, I... This is where I think we might get a rework to Showdown Plus. I don't think we will, but this is just my concept. My concept is, with Showdown Plus, every kill you get, you get a new currency. You get one of them. And, basically, there will be offers in the shop that you could spend that currency on. But they're only limited to, like, stuff like coins and power points. So you won't be able to buy cosmetics. You won't be able to buy skins, pins, sprays, credits, etc. You you will only be able to buy power points. And um, you'll only be able to buy power points and coins. So I feel like, like, 200 coins might be, like, 10 of those things. So if you get 10 kills... You get 200 coins. 
you know, so I think that might be a new rework because people are getting way too many trophies. So I feel like that might be the new rework for Showdown Plus. And I feel like if that works out well, that might actually be what Showdown becomes. Is if you get a kill, you get that new currency and it brings you towards progression. So I think that would actually be a pretty cool idea. But I don't know. Maybe. And then I feel like the next update, this is the next season. This would be the one a year away from the Buster season. I feel like here would be we get one brawler, similar to like with Buster. When we got the Brawl Talk, we got one brawler. This would be like the eh, kind of Brawl Talk of the year. We would get another brawler from the um, Food Trio. I think that this one would be a sharpshooter, in my opinion. And I don't know the mechanics yet. I haven't planned that out yet. But I feel like this brawler might be like a support sharpshooter, kind of like Gus. But more of like a sharpshooter. like Kind of like more like Mandy. But it would be a support brawler. like Kind of like Byron, in a sense. But I feel like it would be like a different, way different than Byron. Um, And then I feel like this would become the December Brawl Talk. Similar to the Brawl Talk we got with Mandy and Chester and Gray. I feel like in this Brawl Talk, we'd get the last Brawler fitting into the Brawlywood Trio. The last Brawler fitting into the um, Candyland Trio. And then um, the last Brawler fitting into the Food Court Trio. So, in a sense, Brawl, Brawl Stars would be finishing up their trios in a sense. So that trio would be done. And then for 2024, the first update, I think, would finish the Gold Arm Gang. But we're not going to get ahead of that. But I think we'll get three Brawlers in that update. So we get the Brawlywood one, which don't have any idea of mechanics yet. But I do have an idea of mechanics for the Candyland one. This one has candy canes. And with the candy canes, it's super. Basically, it kind of like hits you with the neck and the candy cane and basically it stuns you so you're stunned and this one would be more of like a sharpshooter so you'll be stunned while they could just hit shots at you and that's my idea for that sharpshooter brawler that would be i think this sharpshooter brawler would be more of like less of a human and more of like maybe like I don't know what it would be, but it would be something that I think is not a human. I have no clue what it would be, though. And probably what I said, I had no mechanic ideas for that one. But for the food court one, I feel like this one would be more of like a brother similar to like Otis, Lou, and Eve, where it shoots like four projectiles. Um, I think this one would be the chromatic brawler of the season. And... I think that that brawler is super, would be kind of like a pit that disappears on the ground when you throw it. So like once they get to the pit, they go underground for five seconds and they can't come up. So basically they're just like eliminated for five seconds, but then they co- then but then they come straight back up. So I feel like that would be the super, which would be really fun. And the main attack, like I said, would be kind of like Eve's or Otis's. So. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.